Your Excellency is growing bilateral cooperation between India and Turkey in the field of education, technology, commerce, being extended to military defense production and space? Not yet. Uh, especially in the area of space, of course, uh, India is uh, very much advanced. Uh, I was truly impressed when I heard that uh, Indian vessel has uh, reached yeah. the orbit of uh, Mars with uh, only some uh, 70 million dollars of yeah. spending. I think we should look very closely at the mm -hmm. Indian uh, uh, model in mm -hmm. terms of the space programs. Uh, and, uh, and of course uh, our uh, relationship should gradually expand as widely as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the volume of trade between India and Turkey? What are the products they are trading in and is there any plan for diversifying the trade basket? Well, there is a very urgent need to diversify mm -hmm. the trade basket. We only have about $7.5 billion of trade both ways uh, between the two countries mm -hmm. and uh, well, close to $6 billion of which uh, is, is actually uh, are the products uh, that are more than six billions of which mm -hmm. are the products that are supplied by India. So uh, only a small fraction of that mm -hmm. amount uh, mm -hmm. are the Turkish exports to India. The relationship, trade relationship is very much good. Uh, that said, uh, of course, um, we are not looking for exact parity. What we want to do is to increase uh, the trade flows in both directions. And the way to do is to, to uh, liberalize the Indian uh, trade regime. Turkey is much more liberalized than the mm -hmm. Indian trade regime. And therefore, we want some uh, 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 kind of a trade agreement, a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement, in which where, uh, Turkey would be able to export more and India would be export much more. So uh, we are very much after this. The current uh, uh, spectrum of products uh, exchange are, are very rudimentary, a very small uh, range of products are being exchanged. This includes things like poppy seed, auto components, mm. uh, marble, uh, mar marble uh, textile machinery, cumin seeds, uh, from, and, and cotton ore from Turkey. Uh, and and uh, the, the, uh, the uh, Indian side provides petroleum products, vaccines, cotton yarn, organic chemicals, and the thing, and things like that. And so, of course, there is a tremendous potential in other fields uh, like uh, automotive and auto parts, mm. uh, in, in textile machineries, in the chemical industry, mm. in, pl plastics, uh, in plastic products, jewelry of course, uh, glass and glassware, yeah. uh, leather products, electrical mm. equipment and electronics and construction materials. And it's not only about trade, uh, Turkey is one of the top nations in the world in terms of the, the contracting and construction uh, sectors. Uh, mm. We can make dramatic, dramatic impact on the success of the Make in India campaign mm. and the Smart Cities campaign. Mm. So are you aiming at rationalization of tariff structure and taking up this? I mean, well, the, our, our, our authorities are, uh, are discussing uh, the, the issue mm. and uh, of course uh, we need more progress, uh, quite frankly. We need more pro progress. We need to open up the venues for trade for our businessmen and for our people to, to benefit. So, Mr. Ambassador, it brings me to another question which is related one. That is, how an early conclusion of FTA can help bilateral commerce between the two countries? It can. Because it has been, the issue has been there since long. Yes. Well, actually, yes. There was a joint study that was concluded uh, before I arrived. Uh, and uh, it was initialed at the Minister of State level. Uh, but it was uh, not signed, uh, it has not been signed until now. I think uh, the, the signature of this mm -hmm. uh, and the, the commencement, the start of the negotiations mm -hmm. for a comprehensive economic cooperation agreement, this would, the first thing it would do, even before we conclude the agreement, mm -hmm. is to send out a very strong signal to our business people okay. that the two countries are looking at each other as future, as current and future economic partners. And that is the exact message that we need to give to our communities, because, uh, our business communities. Is because basically on both sides our business communities are quite, are quite mature. They know what to do. Yeah. But they also want to know that their government is on their side yeah. and behind this policy of greater economic and trade commercial ties between uh, the two countries. That's uh, the message that I've been, uh, uh, I've been giving uh, to my uh, counterparts in India.